Hello everybody, John here and tonight on To The Garage, I join you live from the Albert Hall to share with you the winners of the 2020 To The Garage X100 photo competition where the winners, all 12 of them, will be turned into a calendar and all 12 will receive said calendar for free. There will be a really limited run of calendars available on the store for others to buy. So um, as soon as I've created the calendar, um, you need to get on there quite quick. Okay, so very briefly before we get going, I just thought I'd like to share uh, this graphic, this map, which shows where in the world were the votes coming from. I did kind of uh, suspect that we get quite a lot from uh, North America, the UK and Australia. But what's been really rewarding is to see the number of countries from which we've had votes. Everywhere that's coloured blue on the map has had at least three voters. So um, thank you everybody for trying to colour the map in. But I haven't been able to create a calendar because we haven't revealed who's in it. And we're going to do that right now. First thing, every photo we're going to show now um, is absolutely a winner. And this 12 is your selection. Myself and Joe didn't vote at all. We have cleaned the data up and eliminated multiple voting. Um, wasn't too bad. We did have a few incidences. It has been all addressed. And now all of these are from unique voters. Um, we've applied a scoring system, which basically means if you were voted for to win the competition, you got two points. If your photo was nominated as one of the runners up, you got an additional one point. And the average number of uh, runners up that people nominated was four and a half. Let's go for it. Congratulations to every single one of you whose photos are going to be shown now. You're in the calendar. So in 12th place, and I'm proud to say 12th place got six votes as the winner overall of the competition. So you should be very pleased with yourself. Also got 28 votes as runners up. My scoring system gave 40 points and Golf place is Brian Neff from Pennsylvania, USA. That's a fantastic photo. And his car's Barncat 2005 XKR. Well done, Brian. I think what really stands out for me on this photo is the colours. The colour in the background is amazing. The barn is just incredible. And uh, what a beautiful car to have sat in front of it. 11th place, he's got five votes as a runner-up, but 38 votes, sorry, he's got five votes as the winner of the competition, but 38 votes as a runner-up, gaining therefore 48 points and 11th place and its position in the calendar. James Dolman. His uh, car is pictured in Old Windsor, UK, and it's a 2005 XK8. And it's called Eeyore, <laughs> which is fantastic. And um, I think named by his uh, other half, um, connected with the donkey, the colour, and the registration plate. In 10th place, Getting eight votes as overall winner and 33 votes as a runner-up. It's Ryan Danes. 
at this amazing moody shop in Norfolk in the UK of his 99 XK8 coupe which he apologised for the condition of don't do that Ryan, it looks great um, and I think what's really striking about this again for me, even though I wasn't the voter the colours how can you have such a colourful photograph, such a moody photograph where it's in colour but it's all shades of grey it's amazing, well done Ryan in the calendar In ninth place, with nine people voting it as their overall winner, and it got 34 votes as a runner up. Ninth place goes to Udo Bress. Udo, long term subscriber and contributor to the channel, and um, his little shop of his 2008 XK8 called Decats was taken in Seabad Heringsdorf, Germany where Udo lives and he's named his photograph the traditional English way and that obviously captured a lot of people's imaginations and what a great shot a little bit of humour in there for a great great photograph well done Udo In 8th place, 11 votes as overall winner, 34 individuals voted for it as their runner-up. So, in 8th place, Gary Brown, and this amazing shot is from Coron Nadel, so I, I'm not good at pronunciation, apologies, in New Zealand. And it looks like a, a sunset, or in theory it could be a sunrise, I think it's a sunset shot, of his 2000 XKR Silverstone. And again, another nice mean and moody one where the sky is contributing to the photograph. Beautiful. In seventh place. 12 individuals voted it as their overall winner. 34 people voted it as their runner up. And with 56 points, the seventh place goes to Kip and Lana Misek. Or Mesek. Again, apologies for pronunciation. And their photograph is taken outside a second hand shop in Denver in the, in the US. And again, the colours in this shot are amazing. Beautiful, beautiful shot of a 2008 XK8 convertible. Appeals heavily to me because it looks like PJ, my previous XK8. Same colour, same wheels, everything. And it's got that elegant Mark 1 front end with the recess fog lights, which just tickles my fancy. In 6th place, 14 individuals had it as their overall winner, 35 individuals voted for it as their runner up. In 6th place we have Doug Warren and this great picture of his 2005 XK convertible at Circuit Rooms Dieu in France. And um, yeah, I think we can see why most people have uh, gone for this. Obviously, great car in a fantastic colour. But being able to park it on a racetrack below the Jaguar hoardings is uh, quite the achievement. I will point out that this is one of the shots where we said we did have actually three photographs which uh, were taken by different people at different times. and. They were obviously along the same stretch of pit lane and um, so myself and Joe took the decision that only one could go forward because if they all honestly won, you know, first, second, third, um, then I'd have to put three almost the same photographs in the calendar. So um, yeah, we decided to pick the favourite of the three almost identical photos 
and this was our favourite. So yes, this is the only one we had a hand in, in terms of nudging it forward. But well done Doug, and uh, his 2005 XK8 convertible looks fantastic. In fifth place, 16 votes as winner, 36 votes as runner-up. We have this gorgeous shot. Though I didn't vote, I've got to say this is one of my favourites. Um, I think black cars are particularly hard to take good photos of, despite them being the shiniest. But this one really has captured the look and feel of the car and brought out the, the lines of the Mark 1 again. Um, beautiful, beautiful picture. And that's his Lou Grillo's 2000 XKR Coupe in San Clemente in USA, California. Fourth plate, 20 individuals voted it as their overall winner. 38 individuals voted for it as their runner-up. In fourth place, we have this gorgeous shot, which could grace any manufacturer's catalogue. Really a, a different look, I think, to a lot of the others, the sort of geometric of it, the, the architectural background. Beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, Kevin Peters taking us in Leeuwarden in the Netherlands, and it's his 1999 XKR Coupe. Right, it's time for the big three. And here's where we start to see the points jump up. The, th the top three were definitely um, well out there from the beginning, and after about the first week of voting, it was clear that they were going to be in the calendar. It just really was a bit of a, a race to see who ended up at the top position. So with 27 individuals voting it as their overall winner, 52 voting it as their runner-up. In third place, we have this great shot, arty shot of John McKittrick's 2006 XK8 convertible called the Kitten. It's called the Kitten because he's also got an XJ called the Cat. So uh, this one is taken in Petrolia in Canada. Great shot. I think there's a lot of uh, artistic work gone in there using uh, software, Photoshop or whatever uh, John's adept at to really make this image pop and yeah a great example I think of a, a manipulated photo so the top two have you remembered what you voted for as your overall winner have you seen it yet if not does that mean it's not in the calendar does it mean it's one of the top two Let's find out. Thirty-two votes as the winner, forty-five votes as runner-up. A total score of hundred and nine John points. This image caught your interest. Beautiful, beautiful shot, which has very obviously taken a lot of setting up and thought. And it, the colours are amazing. So this is Gerard Booth. Um, again, long time subscriber, constant contributor to the channel and he took this in Townley Park in Burnley in the UK and this is his 1996 XKA Coupe. Carnival Red, flute wheels, note the leapers just above the uh, side repeaters and yeah, the car is obviously beautiful, immaculate, the back drop is amazing it looks like he's helicoptered it in because <laughs> ground are not disturbed and there's obviously a lot of uh, work going on on this photograph just making it just so I mean, post-production got a flare on the headlights everything is just perfect well done Gerard a well-deserved top ranking so that only leaves one 
Have you voted for something you haven't seen yet? What is it? And we've got a saver in the end. This one screamed out ahead of the others. So, and I will remind you because some of you will know what I'm talking about here. Um, we did have some multiple voters on several of the photographs. They have all been eliminated. I'm not going to reveal my methods because I might want to use it again. But I can guarantee to you these are all different individuals. 45 people voted this one as the winner. 54 individuals voted for this as their runner-up. It's got 144 John points in first place. <laughs> Many of you will have guessed it. This beautiful, arty, moody shot of an incredible looking car. And again, apologies for any pronunciation issues. Manuel Mena Barberan. Um, this is his 2002 XKR Silverstone. And it's a picture taken in Granada, Spain. And his car is obviously quite unique. And then you've got the quality of this photograph on top of it. This is a very cool photo. And I'm very proud to say it's going to be on the front cover of the first To The Garage calendar. A really worthy winner of our photo competition. Well done, Manuel. Um, and again, just want to look at a few of the little details in this picture. The image is incredibly sharp, I think, which is, again, what draws people to a lot of photographs. The fact that it was black and white made it stand out. We had about, I would say, half a dozen black and white photos that were sent in. Some really good ones that um, you never got to, sort, got to see. We just couldn't include every one. I really like the, um, the little stickers on the grills on the XKR's bonnet, um, supercharged, and they've got the, the flags there. And yeah, what an image. And I think we should learn a little bit more about your car, Manuel. So please send us some more information. Well, well done to everybody who was in that 12 and everybody who sent in a photograph at all, whether it made the shortlist or not, I'm proud of you all, I'm really grateful for you getting involved and contributing. So as promised, um, I'm gonna put my uh, hand in my pocket and turn those images into a calendar. And I'm gonna send a calendar to everybody in that top 12, and Manuel's picture will be on the front cover as well. So the next steps for you guys, if you're in the calendar, please email me with the postal address that you would like that calendar to go to. I can't promise when I'll be sending it out, it'll be as quick as I can get it done. As soon as that is completed, I will put the calendars up for sale on the store, which is available through the website, www to the garage.co.uk and obviously I'm going to hope to get back what I've spent on getting the calendars made in the first place. We'll make a very limited run. Uh, I need to guarantee they all go. Old calendars are of no use to anybody. So uh, they'll be uh, individually numbered up so that you know which calendar you've got and how long the run was so they're a little bit of a, a limited edition. One of the next videos where I put out will just be a compilation of photographs that were sent in, but didn't get um, put to one side for various reasons. So as I said, there's about 83, I can't quite remember, photographs got sent in, 
which were usable. There was a few that were unusable for a couple of reasons. Uh, it might be photo quality was just too bad um, or because the subject matter was inappropriate for sharing, let's say. There's a few other bits and bobs. But the vast majority of people who sent in a photograph, I'm going to share it in a video just for your interest. And I'll do no more than say, hey, here's the photographs and let them play through for your interest. If anybody did send in a photograph for the competition that doesn't come up, maybe it's been eliminated for one of the reasons. Maybe it got lost in the email. I can't guarantee it hasn't. Um, this is my hobby, not my job. <clears throat> but thank you, everybody, for contributing. I shall not be entering into any correspondence with anybody on scoring, how the scores got to be what they were. What was my score, even though my picture didn't appear, but it was in the top 25? Um, how did you filter out the duplicates? Maybe some of my votes got lost because they might have looked like a duplicate, but they weren't a duplicate, etc. I'm not having any of those discussions. Um, take it for what it is. I'm a pretty straightforward guy. If uh, the points aren't exactly right, it's an honest mistake. But trust me, those are the ones that you guys voted for. And I have eliminated the obvious duplications of voting where it has uh, taken place. Right, and on to further things I alluded to um, in my last video, the fact that I was just shooting off to go and look at what could be a new project car. And all I'm going to tell you right now is I bought it. I don't yet possess it, but I bought it. So very soon I'll be revealing a new car on the fleet. By new, I don't mean new. <laughs> I mean an old car on the fleet. That is going to be my daily driver come project car. And I think you're going to find it very, very interesting. Um, it'd be interesting to see if any of you can guess what it is. I've had a few guesses coming already and nobody's been right. So look forward to that. Please subscribe. Please share. Please comment. And we'll see you all very soon on To The Garage.